everybody, welcome to your first uh, video godcast. This is something new that we're going to give a try um, on the website. And what we're talking about today is sketching uh, various views of solids and what we talked about, how it's the whole idea of just uh, finding the right perspective. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's take a look at what this might look like. What we've got here is, uh, is a solid that was built out of one, two, three, four, five uh, cubes here. So um, if you had some linking cubes, you could easily make this shape. Um, and what this little arrow right here that I'm circling with my pointer is symbolizing is that that's the front view. All right, so this is, uh, this is a little applet that you can find online. And if you want to use it, I can definitely direct your attention to it. All you have to do is ask. Um, and you can see just by clicking on it and holding down, you can easily manipulate it anywhere you want. And uh, what this is going to allow us to do is take a look at what the front, back, sides, top and bottom all look like. And uh, what we need to do is when we're doing that is we need to sort of draw our own conclusions about sort of how those things are linked. So let's, uh, let's give it a try here. Like I said, this arrow right here that I'm circling um, symbolizes the front of the object. So if we uh, just carefully click on this cube and we move it so that everything is lined up nice and well. What we have here is a view that, uh, that symbolizes the front. Now it's a little off kilter here, the lines aren't perfectly straight, but you get the idea, it's just sort of that simple L shape, okay? So uh, you have the three that represent the base and then one at the top here. Now right about here where I'm circling uh, the mouse pointer here, there's no block there, it's just sort of one in behind. So that one that my pointer's over top is actually a bit further away, but you can't really tell from this perspective. So this is the front view. So uh, what do you think is going to happen when we flip to the back view? Is it going to look the same? Is it going to look completely different? Is it going to look slightly different? Well, all we need to do is click on this and give it a rotate until we land on the back view. And uh, so we get this all lined up nice and straight, or as straight as possible anyways, and we see that we do still have that L shape, but it's inverted, okay? We're looking at it from a different perspective. So it's almost like the front side only in a mirror, okay? So it's really important to notice that we can't really tell depth from, uh, from you know, looking at it from various perspectives. And like I said, this right here, we have one missing, but when you flip to the front view, you can't really tell that there's anything there, period. Let's take a look and see how this affects our, uh, our top and bottom view. So again, the arrow, represents, the arrow represents the front, so I'm just going to carefully manipulate it so that the arrow is pointing up and that tells us that we're looking at the front, line it up. And again, you have this shape and you can't really get any depth out of it. Out of it. We know that this one right here, that, uh, that cube is actually on top of another one, so it's actually raised up a little bit, but you can't really tell too much. You can't tell until we manipulate it and we see that, that it's actually a third dimension. But from here, when we're looking at it from these perspective, this is two-dimensional, so everything looks flat. So it certainly looks like a row of cubes, three rows of cubes on the top, two in the bottom. So remember what we just found out regarding the other one. When we flipped it, we sort of got that backwards image. And if we do that, and we manipulate it so we're now looking at the bottom, you have this idea of, uh, of it just inverted. So it's pretty much the same thing, okay? So that's something we always want to remember. Same goes for the sides. So what we're looking at right here is the right side. So we have those three, it looks like only three cubes. Um, there's not really any depth here, but when we turn it, we already know that uh, this cube is actually kind of further away, as is this one, but you still have that general shape. So that's really um, the whole idea behind, you know, perspective of drawing different views of solids. It's, uh, it's really not that difficult of a concept. Um, it's just simply drawing straight lines. We always want to make sure that we're keeping an eye on or keeping in our heads what the perspective is. So uh, that should make some sense to you. And you know, if it doesn't, there's always questions that you can ask me or you can always practice it. So we draw this on square dot paper, all right? And there's the difference between isometric dot paper and square dot paper. Isometric dot paper is for drawing those third dimension pieces. And that's what we're working on uh, in the coming days.
All right, guys. So uh, again, you know, thanks for checking out this first Godcast uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps a little bit. Um, I certainly have fun doing it. I like experimenting with some different ideas. Um, if you have any questions, again, do not hesitate to come and ask me. That is definitely what I'm here for. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys have an awesome night, and I'll see you in class later days.